everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a chit chatty get ready with me, I guess. Um, I don't really know if I have a whole lot to talk about, but I just kind of felt like doing um, this instead of doing like a sped up kind of voiceover look or anything like that. So I'm just kind of gonna get started. I've got some new products that I'm gonna be testing out in this video. First, I am going to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. This is just a little baby sample of it. I've been really into like actually using sample products lately. Um, for some reason, I used to like love to um, hoard like little samples. Like it didn't matter if it was like tiny um, like foil samples or like the deluxe size samples or anything really I would just hoard them I don't I don't know why and I've kind of like recently been like why have I been like that forever so I'm trying to like actually use up products and if I like them I'll buy them if not then at least I still used up the product so that was the primer this is a new product that I'm trying this is from the face shop and it's called the air cotton makeup base in the color mint so I'm gonna try this to see if it can kind of cancel out some of the redness of my skin so this is basically just a mint tinted um, kind of I guess primer or color corrector I've never used this before I don't know how pigmented this is so wish me luck I'm just gonna kind of dab it on all over but mainly keeping it on like my nose and my cheek area because that's where I get the most the most red so let's see how it looks not bad it's definitely um sheer which is a good thing you know to be honest um because you don't want like this super green kind of color under your foundation I don't know, I think it helped a bit. Definitely, you know, it's subtle, but that's how like color correcting products are supposed to be. So for a first try, not bad. I'll definitely have to use that quite a bit more until I can decide if I like it or not. Um, so next again with more of the samples, um, this is the Josie Marion Vibrancy Foundation in the color Dynamic. This one is another sample that I got from Sephora a while ago. This is actually a little bit light for me. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of my cover effects drops, which are a little bit too dark for me. And again, another little sample. Um, this is like a badass sample. Like this full size product is like $44. I'm surprised that they actually like gave this out. And it's so cute. It's this teeny tiny like little dropper bottle. But this is definitely a little bit too dark for me. So there you go. Two colors, one too light, one too dark. Hopefully we'll get something in the middle that will work. Okay, let's see. Still looks like it'll be a little dark, but that's okay. I'm just going to dab this all over. Lately, I have been really liking um, using my... Um, what is this? Like the oval um, type brushes like that. The kind of like knockoff of... What is the artiste? I don't know. Um, but I've been liking using these a little bit more, just I guess for a change. I mean, for the longest time, I only used my Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge, which is still probably my all time favorite method of application for foundation. Um, I just feel like there's very few tools that really like work better than just either you know a traditional brush or your hands or just whatever I mean for the longest time I just used my fingers to apply foundation like all the way up until like college pretty much and then I started um trying out different brushes and you know some I liked some I didn't and then I found the you know like beauty blender um you know beauty sponges and stuff like this I've actually never owned a true like beauty blender and that's because those things are like $20 and I'm like I don't know this one is just as good and it's like what five dollars so I'm gonna stick with this because it works great but I have tried a lot of like like off-brand of the um, beauty blender sponges and some of those are some of the worst I've ever tried okay now I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer I don't have any concealer samples I think at the moment um, so I'm gonna use my regular hard candy glamouflage concealer my all-time favorite I'm just gonna apply that under my eye Ugh. I've been like loving long nails like for the past like I don't know probably like past like three months now 
and I like the way they look but they're so impractical at sometimes like applying my makeup like I, I like to do a lot of stuff with my fingers especially like my eye makeup and stuff and it's just like not possible anymore and then like taking my contacts in and out oh my god it's like a nightmare how do if you guys wear contacts and you have long nails how do you do it just because I Want to kill myself every time I try to take my contact lenses out. So the weather has been really nice again. It got cold a little bit again. Well, not cold, but like cold comparatively. It was like 40 degrees last week, which is not really that cold. But compared to like 75 degrees, it was definitely colder. But then the weather warmed up again this week. And my friend and I went walking yesterday just for like around the neighborhood. And we walked like four miles, which that's a lot for me. Typically, we just do like two miles or like one and a half miles or whatever but we did four miles yesterday and i felt so good about myself next i'm using my elf hd setting powder and i'm gonna do um first i'm gonna set my under eyes my concealer and then i'll go back and set my face with a larger brush but yeah so we walked four miles yesterday which i was super proud i felt like i could have like just kept walking even longer um but it's starting to get dark um, but I don't know, I just, I feel like, honestly, I would rather walk 10 miles, like walk them, than run a single mile. I just, oh, I'm not good at running, and I don't like feeling like I'm going to die, because I'm like super, super duper out of shape, and I just want to like, I don't know, walk, try to walk as much as I can every day if I can. Um, but we're, in, we're actually going to go walk just around the neighborhood again today. Probably gonna not walk as much as yesterday just because I don't wanna like, I don't wanna overdo it. So, next for contour, I'm going to use my Profusions palette, the regular contour color that I always use. I'm just gonna apply that. Oops, I kinda like went heavy today. But that's okay. And like I said, it's really nice outside today. It's like 75 degrees in February, which is <laughs> just ridiculous. Okay, so next I'm going to use my typical blush. This is the e.l.f. Sweet Retreat Mineral Blush. Um, I can't wait to, like, use this blush up just because, I mean, I love it. It's a great blush, and it was super cheap. Um, it's probably, like, what, $3 or something? But I don't know. I'm just one of those people where I don't want to use different blushes. I want to, like, just use up an entire blush. And this one has been going strong for quite a while. I actually busted it, but I, like, fixed it and everything, and it's still, still going good. I actually have a video, a super, super old video, on how to, um like fix broken products like that. So next I'm going to be using a new highlighter that I have. I already showed this in my latest Mimi Box haul. This is from Pony Effect and this is the Lucid Dream Mirage Highlighter. Um, but I don't know, I really like this bl blush, this highlighter. Um, it's really pretty. Ooh. I really like the way it looks. It's, it was like $15 from Mimi Box, which is a little bit, I don't know, a little bit expensive for a highlighter for me. Um, I guess comparatively, it's not that bad of a price if you compare it to something like the full-size Becca um, highlighters, but I don't know, I like it. This one is, I think, the lightest, the lightest one. I like it. I think it's nice. Next, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray. I usually don't use that many spritzes, but it just feels so nice. I have the windows open because it's so nice outside. Um, and usually I have my attic fan on to like draw in like fresh air and stuff. But I have that turned off right now, obviously, because I'm filming and it's like super loud. Um, so I'm kind of like burning up, especially under this light. Oh, but it just felt nice, that mist. Okay, so sorry for this like awkward like <laughs> light. Um, I'll try to like forward to fix it. Um, next I'm going to use just my regular Urban Decay Primer Potion and I got another new product that I'm going to be using on my eyes today and it's definitely, I don't know, it's a, it's something that I said I wouldn't buy again but I don't know. I, I did. I bought one again anyway. So what it is is one of the Etude House palettes. So I had two of them. Um, they're actually right here. Um, and I did a buy or buy bye video talking about these. I have the um, In the Cafe one, and then I have the Ice Van one. <sighs> and then when I was online, I would, they had this at Rose Rose Shop, but it was a little bit cheaper than, I think Collection K was where I bought the first two, and they were like $25 a piece, which was definitely way too much. 
but they had it for like 13 or 14 dollars um at rose rose shop and they had the um was this one it's the orange juice one whatever that one is um but i don't know i couldn't help myself i still really love the idea of these even though like i'd mentioned in my other video about these like the actual like matte shadows are really great they're really really good um but i wasn't super impressed with the shimmer shadows um but this one has a few shimmers and i don't know we'll just give it a go so um this is what the palette looks like oh, and one of my favorite things in the world is peeling off these little things oh. to be honest the color selection is kind of similar if you have both of the um other two palettes let me open them up real quick to see they're kind of similar colors this is a bad idea this is a bad idea so that one is the cafe one the ice fan one and this is like the orange juice one a little bit more orange tones but i don't know there's definitely a lot of like similar colors between the two palettes so i don't know even against my own recommendation I said I wouldn't buy any more of these, but here I am. So, I don't know. Let's try out some colors. I'm going to try out one of the shimmers. First, I'm going to do my crease. I'm going to use the one, two, three, four, five, sixth color from the left. I'm going to put that in my crease. It's almost like a little bit of a satiny kind of color. It's not a true matte, but why not? Definitely looks a little bit more matte, um, actually like on the eye, which I'm okay with. It's a good color. I wanted to make sure that I stuck to my, um, schedule because I have not missed a single upload since I think like maybe it was either end of May or like beginning of June that I started doing three videos a week, which I really like doing because, um, I don't know, I just like trying to keep my channel like on a schedule and regular and stuff. So I've been super proud of myself that I haven't messed up yet, which is amazing. Um, so yeah. And then I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line and bring that in a bit. So hopefully these colors are a little bit better. Like I said, the, the mattes are good. It's just like the, the shimmers I was never super impressed with, but we'll have to try them out and see. So now I'm going to use the color right here, this darkest one. I'm just going to like darken up the crease a bit. Next I'm going to use the, let's see, the one, two, three, third color from the right. It's this really pretty peachy pink here, but it's kind of like a slightly like duochrome-y kind of, like very subtle. I wouldn't really call it like a true duochrome, but it's kind of like a peachy pink color with like a golden-y reflex to it. I don't know how strong this is actually going to be, but let's try it. I'm going to do that all over the lid. Mm, still a little weak, but I don't know. I guess like if more like sheer kind of shadows are your thing, then you'd probably like these. But I just like everything to be like bam full color and everything so i don't know and then let's see this is like the saving grace of this palette let's see if this color shows up like it is it's this really bright shimmery orange let's see if it does anything hopefully it will so let's see i'm gonna do that more on the more on the outer hey that's not bad kind of blend it inward a bit let's see that one's actually not bad I think I still stand by my original review of these. They're, the mattes are pretty good. The shimmers are just a little, they're just a little meh. So the next product I'm going to use is a new one. This one is by Tony Moly, and this is the Inked Cushion Gel Liner. The box looks like this, and this is what the actual product looks like. It was so adorable. It looks like a little inkwell and like a little pin and that's the actual applicator which is super cool. Um, and then it's just a little cushion ink um, eyeliner. So it's nothing like new or anything but it's super adorable. They had a, quite a few different colors. It kind of reminds me of the Stila cushion ones that came out a while ago but like way cuter packaging wise. I feel like it reminds me of like Edgar Allan Poe or um, it honestly kind of reminds me of something like Kat Von D would come out with. So I'm going to try this for the first time. I'm not super good at doing my eyeliner from anything other than like liquid liner. So
I think that actually turned out pretty good. Now I'm not even going to attempt to do a wing with this type of brush just because I know I'm going to F it up. So I'm going to do the other eye real quick. I'll do the wing off camera and I'll come back. So I can't wait to see how this wears. I don't know if it will last like better or longer. Um, I did like have a little swatch of it on my wrist for a while and it like stayed on pretty well. So we'll see how well it does on the eyes. One thing is I'm not a huge fan of the actual brush. I find that it's just a little too big if it was a little bit smaller I feel like it would be easier to apply it was good for applying but it was hard to get really close to the lashes to kind of like not have like a weird gap so I gotta hurry now I just realized what time it is next I'm gonna use my better than sex mascara and I'm just gonna apply that to my lashes so real quickly, I'm going to fill in my brows using my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Pomade. And finally for the lips, um, this is another product again that I plan on doing a video talking about these products. So again, I don't know if it's going to be up or not. Um, so if it's not, then this is a sneak peek. Um, so this is the Chateau Labiat Wine Lip Tint. This is what the box looks like. And the packaging is so cute. It looks like a teeny tiny wine bottle. This one is in the color orange one and it's called Chateau Chardonnay orange. So this is a lip tint and I felt like to go with orange eyes I should do orange lips, which I don't really do that often. So I have not actually tried this one on my lips yet So we will see this one. I think is really dark. It's like a dark Dark orange red. So I need to be careful applying this so this is what it looks like with the stain. Like I said, if I haven't posted the video yet, then this will be like a little bit of a sneak peek. But I definitely think that the orange one is the most like pigmented. It's definitely like an orangey red color, which is a very different color. I don't wear it a whole lot, but I think, I don't know, I kind of feel like I like it. What do you guys think? So that's pretty much it for the overall look. A little extra for going walking. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of chit-chatty get ready with me. Um, let me know if you like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. And so my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.